certainly most of us are brought up by an ethic that says that we are our brother's keeper. I would say we most certainly are not, could not be, and should not attempt to be. Uh, the only concern men should have for other men is respect for their rights. A man should never expect another man to sacrifice for him, nor should he sacrifice himself for other men. He should respect the independence and the rights of others and never take part in any form of enslavement, political enslavement. But uh, outside of that, he's not responsible for other men and should never permit them to as, uh, assume the role of responsibility for him. He should not submit to force nor exercise force. He should not ask others to leave for his sake, nor should he ever leave for the sake of others. He should treat others as traders. But that is, if two men agree on a given deal or they want to cooperate, that's fine. They trade value for value voluntarily, without sacrifice on either part. They both su serve their rational self-interest if they deal with each other. Mm -hmm. If they don't want to deal with each other, they should not be forced to. And you place the emphasis upon rational and their rational self-interest. Oh, yes, certainly. Mm -hmm. I place that emphasis on everything. Yes. Because that which is proper for you uh, on a rational basis cannot be proper for you on any other basis. And therefore, all your rights rest on your nature as a rational being. If you want to claim any kind of rights, you cannot claim them for your feelings, only for your mind. And uh, the actions I regard as moral are only the ones based on rational goals and rational motives. The others are immoral in, in your philosophy? Totally immoral. You mean those, uh, the actions that are not, that are not which, based upon reason? Yes. So that charity, in this sense, based upon emotion, would not be moral? Charity is a very marginal issue. Yes, One sir. of my main tenets is that charity should never be a duty. And when you want to help someone else, it is proper, it's not evil, provided you do it on the basis of his value. Because he's a good person who suffers through no fault of his own, because he's a friend of yours, uh, because he's a victim of injustice. Those are all helping values. But never, on, uh, if you grant a man charity on the ground of his flaws, his not uh, uh, accidental misfortune, but a misfortune brought about by his own evil, then that, that kind of help I do regard as evil. How, how does the, the concept of love, love for one another, fit into this philosophy? Uh, shall we start with romantic love? Because I don't quite understand well, love Romantic for love one certainly another. is a part of your novels. It's very Romantic much love I regard as the most properly selfish emotion there is. You fall in love with a person because you regard him or her as a value and because they contribute to your personal happiness. Now, you couldn't fall in love with a person by saying, you mean nothing to me. Uh, I don't care whether you live or die, but you need me, and therefore I'm in love with you. Mm -hmm. uh, if someone offered love of that kind, uh, everyone would regard that as a deadly insult. That isn't love. Therefore, romantic love is a selfish emotion. Mm -hmm. It is the choice of a person as a great value and what you fall in love with is the same values which you choose embodied in another person that's romantic love and that is profoundly properly selfish mm -hmm. now any lesser form of love such as friendship affection uh, is the same thing in effect you grant a feeling of affection to those whom you have uh, concluded are values. Your response to others is on the basis mm -hmm. of values. And if they're no good, then you feel the appropriate emotion of contempt. Are values absolute? Is it either good or evil? Is there any um, area in between? It depends uh, what you mean. On, on which uh, value? I would say values are contextual. Mm -hmm. They depend on the context of a given situation. Now, there are unfortunately too many people who are part good, part bad. 
Well, that's their problem. Mm -hmm. But uh, what morality would demand of them is to struggle to the best of their ability to be good and never do evil consciously. Mm -hmm. If a man does that, I would regard him as completely good. If he never does evil consciously, deliberately. However, if he does just one action which he knows to be wrong, but permits it to himself, then he's evil, absolutely. The rest is only a matter of time.